Good morning all, CamelbackTrading.org coming to you this Wednesday morning, December 15th. We're looking at Window Traders market profile of SPY, IWM, and Triple Qs. And what we're looking at this morning, plain and simple, is going to be a lot of chop, a lot of meaningless noise. What do I mean by that? We have a huge range in these things, right? Not a lot of destinations and reference points. The market's going to trade aimlessly until 2 o'clock. That does not mean there won't be opportunities. But at least for the first time frame or the first hour, I'd be careful to the IB forms because there's going to be tremendous chop in here. Over a $5 range yesterday with really nothing to lean on. So they're going to be all over the place. We still hold a small gap from yesterday. Triple Q's hold a larger gap. Russell did not have one. Russell did dip below last week's low, which made it an inside week down to start. We'll see what happens come 2 o'clock. Now... For those of you who have followed me, you know how I feel about a day like today. We trade for a living. If I don't trade at 2 o'clock or even till the rest of the day, who cares, right? You're going to have uneducated, mindless machines whipping this all over the place, especially at 2 o'clock. I mean, we know they're not going to raise rates, so there really shouldn't be a real reaction to it. The big thing is his press conference at 2.30. How much of a hawkish tone is he going to take? That's going to determine what happens with this market. If by the real, real slim chance they come out and raise rates today at 2, well then, step aside and let these mindless machines rip this market where it wants to go to the downside. We have vacuums to the downside. We really do. We have the weekly low and we have what our monthly low is right now. That's $15 lower. So if by any outside chance, slim chance, they did something like that with rates um, you would get there. Uh, we are right at uh, the 50-day the moving average is um, above, right above is it the weekly low. Let me just see real quick. Yep, it's above the weekly low by $4. And we're right below the 20-day moving average now. Our overnight, right now, 464.15 is the high, 462.61 is the low. So only a dollar fifty-four range. Now, I know there's still 75 minutes to go, but if we have a tight range like this, the odds of taking out both the overnight high and the overnight low are going to be very, very good. Hard to give a game plan here because, like I said, it's just going to be Chop City in here. The bigger game plan is this. If the market likes what the Fed has to say, we should take out yesterday's high, fill the gap, and come back into this five-day balance. And the ultimate destination eventually will be the top of it which is around the 471 level okay what was that daily high 470.56 so that would be one scenario if the market likes what it hears if the market doesn't like what it hears well obviously we're still below the five day balance and then we're going to go into December 6th where there is nothing like I said there's nothing here except the weekly low and then if they don't like that we're getting into the third where we had the nine wide pock, and then what right now is our monthly low. So that's basically the bottom line. The market likes what it hears, we come back into a five day balance. If it doesn't like what it hears, we're going to come back into this three day balance. Plain and simple. So for now, as far as the trade early on, again, you want to take a short against M's high, you can do that. You want to take a long if we push back where the park was? You can do that. But all of it should be small because, again, it's going to be like hitting a golf ball inside a racquetball court. We're going to be all over the place this morning. Um, and, again, that's why if you're in my trading room, come 2, two o'clock and 2.30, we're going to be leading you through this volatile time. And then here's the daily. It's the only one I really want to show you, right? The market likes what it hears, we get above the 20 and we get into this balance. It doesn't like what it hears, we come down into this three day balance and probably test the 50 day moving average. Good luck trading today, be smart, and we'll recap at 4 p.m.